Hello, my good children. You're most welcome to our online lessons. My name is Mwanda Hamid, and I'm going to take you through science this time around. Um, my children, uh, in our previous lesson, you remember what we talked about. I think you know. You have the book there. You can open and check. So when I was ending, I left you with a certain activity. Now we are going to go through that activity very quickly. Then uh, we learn today's work. So let's go. This is the activity of the, la of, uh, the previous lesson. Number one, what are weather instruments? Weather instruments are tools that are used to measure weather elements. Are tools that are used to, me to measure weather elements. I hope you have that. Then number two, how are the following instruments useful? A rain gauge, it measures the amount of rainfall received in an area. Wind vane, it shows the direction of wind. Wind sock, it shows the strength of wind. Anemometer, it measures the speed of wind. Campbell sunshine recorder, it measures and records the hours of sunshine received in a day. Number three, draw a wind vane in the space below. So it is there. I hope you drew the same because we, ha we, we looked at it during the lesson. Then in which direction does the wind vane point when at rest? The wind vane points uh, in north when at rest. At rest, I told you, it means wind is not working. It's just there. Uh, that is all. I know you must be having four out of four. If you have four out of four, can you pat your back? That is very nice. Now, uh, our today's lesson, what do I expect from you? Uh, you are going to describe the sun. You are going to identify the forms of energy got from the sun. Identify other natural sources of, uh, of light. Then, give the uses of the sun and state the dangers of the sun. So pay attention. We are going to try to move very, very quickly. Have so much to cover. So we are going to move through very quickly. Pay attention, leave whatever you are doing, uh, and then concentrate just to learn. So my good children, uh, session one, the sun. In one sentence, can you try to describe the sun? I've given you one minute. Just in one sentence, describe the sun. OK, OK, I think you are done. I think you are done. Let us see now, compare your description with mine. The sun is the main natural source of light and heat. The sun is the main natural source of light and heat. I have it here. You can see. And these ones are the rays, sun rays coming. So these guys are getting light and also heat at the same time. So the sun is the main natural source of heat. Now, uh, from the sun, we get some forms of energy. And there are basically three forms of energy that are got from the sun. Have you thought of some of them? Now, I'm going to give you just one minute to think about the uh, forms of energy got from the sun, my dear children. OK, there are three. I think you have them there. Now, what you are going to do, compare your forms with mine. Forms of energy got from the sun. One, we have solar energy. Can we say solar energy? Solar energy. Can we spell the word solar quickly? Solar, S-O-L-A-R, solar. Then can we spell the word energy quickly? Energy, E-N-E-R-G-Y, energy. Then from the sun, we also have light energy. Can we spell light? Light. L-I-G-H-T, light. Then we we'll also get what we call heat energy. Can we spell heat? Heat. H-E-A-T, heat. So those are the three forms of energy got from the sun. Number, I mean session three. <coughs> Session three, we are going to look at the sources of energy. Now, what you do, I told you, we ask you, we pose a question to allow you to think. Then, 
we uh, cross check with mine here. So what is our activity this time? Name the two sources of light. There are two, I mean types, two types of sources of light. There are two types of sources of light. So can you write them quickly to one minute? That is very good. I hope you have them. Now, what are these two sources? Uh, we have uh, the natural sources of light. Can you say natural sources? Natural sources, then artificial sources. Artificial sources. Quickly, can we spell the word natural? Natural. N-A-T-U-R-A-L. Natural. Then artificial, quickly. Artificial. A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L. Artificial. Sources. S-O-U-R-C-E-S. -E sources. So what are natural sources? Natural sources are those that exist on their own. Sources of light that exist on their own. No one can tell them. No one has made them. You just wake up in the morning, you see it giving you light, but it has just happened. It has just existed on its own. So those are called natural sources of light. And then what are the artificial sources? Artificial sources are those that are made by people. Sources of light that are made by man, that are made by people, are called artificial sources of light. Um, session four, we are moving on very quickly. Natural sources of light. As I said, these sources exist on their own. Now, can you try to list down some, some sources of, some natural sources of light that you know, the sources of things that give us light and they exist on their own. No person has made them. I want you to make some small list uh, there and we see natural sources of light quickly. Okay, okay, I, ha I hope you have three, four, five. So compare your natural sources of light with mine. They are here. Uh, natural sources of light. So we have stars. Can you say stars? Stars. You are going to read after me. Stars, fireflies, glowworms, uh, volcanic eruptions, deep sea fish, and some snakes. Those are natural sources of light. There is no one who has ever made a snake. So some snakes are, are sources of light, some of them. Then we have the deep sea fish. No one has made them. Uh, volcanic eruptions, no one can make them. Uh, glow worms, fireflies, and stars. These are natural. Then uh, besides these, that's where we can now put the sun also, because it is natural. Because we had talked about the sun, that's why I have not included it here. But the sun is also part of these ones because it is also natural source of light. Let's move. Um, see some, some pictures. These are some pictures of the natural sources of light. So we have here the sun. You can see it here. Then we have fireflies here. You can observe. And you see they have light, if you can see. They producing light here. So that's why we call them the sources of light. Then we have uh, we have glowworms up there. You can see them. Then we have here, this is uh, an illustration of volcanic eruption. So these are some of the natural sources of light. Why are they called natural sources of light? They exist on their own. So we move on, my dear children. Session five, artificial sources of light. We said artificial sources of light are those that are made by man. Sources of light that are made by man. So what are the examples? I know you have them. Even in your house, they are there. You are seeing them, and they give you light. So can you try to make a list of around five? I've given you just one minute. Then I will check with you. Okay, okay, uh, that is very nice. 
Now, can you compare the list you have made there with mine here? Artificial sources of light. The ones that uh, you don't have, you'll add them on your list. Then the ones that I don't have also, you'll see them on your list. So where are they? These are artificial sources of light. Now you're going to read after me very quickly and we move. Lamps, torches, bulbs, candles, phones, some clock hands, televisions, and so many others. So many others. You know them and you have them there. So why are they called artificial sources? They are made by people. We move. I have collected some pictures of those uh, artificial sources of light. So you can have a look at these pictures. We have electric bulbs. We have torches. We have fireplaces. Fireplaces was missing in my list, so we can add it there also. We have fluorescent tubes. It was also missing on my list. You can put there. I said there are many. So we have candles here. So those are some of the artificial sources of light. And why is a candle called an artificial source of light? A candle is made by man. That is why it is called an artificial source of light. We move on, my dear children. Um, our lesson has ended for today. And so we are just going to sit down, concentrate, and write this activity. When I come back, we shall begin from there. Thank you for being good children. Stay safe.